managing director and founder of the Haption company. Haption is a, a small company uh, based in France. Uh, we are uh, specialized in robotics, and more, more specifically in haptic devices, what you call also force feedback systems. The force feedback system is uh, like here, a robot, which means a mechanical structure, with a grip at the end, and uh, with this you can move well, you can grab a virtual object, move it around, and feel forces, uh, uh, contact forces, especially with other objects. So that's our basic technology. We are uh, so a company located uh, west of France, uh, 14 people today, of which most are engineers or PhDs, uh, with a small tax force for production. Uh, we do product use our own devices uh, in France. Uh, some words about our products. Uh, we have this product, which is uh, our first product that we, we made uh, when we uh, created our company 10 years ago. It's a large uh, haptic device uh, with a large workspace and high quotes. Um, it's called Virtuos. It's a class, the, the name of all our, our, our brand of products. Um, this one is, is, uh, has been produced uh, about 50, 50 pieces up to now, a bit more. Uh, so. Uh, pretty high volume for, for us. Uh, then we have a smaller product which is more dedicated to the desktop work, uh, sitting in front of your uh, monitor, um, so a, a product that you put on the table and uh, you can move, uh, well, use with your, with your hand. Um, and then on the other side we have larger products, especially one for the nuclear industry, for remote operation. Um, which is much larger with much higher torques than this one. So what, what, are, the, what are the markets of uh, Haption today? Uh, mostly we are speaking about two markets. First, the first market is the research and academic market. So that's um, researchers who need some um, solution for interacting physically with virtual or digital uh, data. Uh, the digital data can be very serious, like uh, for um, engineering uh, or for medical applications, attaching objects which are only seen in a simulation. Uh, it can be also more uh, playful, uh, like in serious game for rehabilitation, uh, presenting some games for uh, patients uh, so that they are uh, motivated to uh, uh, push their limits and, and, uh, and get back their functions. Um, so that's, that's the first market for Haption, so that's really uh, uh, the haptic device needed for this interaction uh, and the study of this interaction with, with digital objects. Mm. The second market uh, is the industry. Uh, I mean um, uh, manufacturing industry, automotive, aerospace, and here our big customers are typically Airbus uh, for the aircraft industry uh, or uh, PSA, Peugeot Citroën for the automotive. And, and there, uh, the benefits of our products is that it enables the engineers to validate, test uh, all the assembly and maintenance operations on the digital product, on the, the virtual prototype, uh, which is, it does not exist. But uh, with this, they have a physical interaction with the virtual prototype. They can uh, interact naturally with it and, um, and go back to a physical um, uh, experience of the product as it will be and in that in that fashion they don't have to wait for the prototype to be manufactured they don't have to pay for it so they save a lot of time and costs during all the engineering and uh, planning of the product how to choose one device for your application uh, it depends really on uh, the kind of range you need for your motion and the kind of uh, force, the force level. For example, this device has a range of about one meter to the side and almost one meter vertically, uh, a bit less in this direction, but this corresponds to the movement of your own arm when you move it. Uh, not moving the shoulder, but moving the upper arm. That's about the same range. Uh, so it's, it's very uh, fitting for uh, um, working, standing in front of a large screen, for example, and also the force, the maximum force of this one is uh, 3.5 kilo or 35 newton, 
uh, which corresponds to about 90% of uh, everyday activities. What we do every day, we don't use that much force, uh, usually. Um, so this is pretty well for, again, standing in front of a large screen and doing some uh, activities, like on the assembly line. Uh, but sometimes you don't need that much. Uh, and for, uh, if you want just to be sitting in front of your desk and just working with your, your wrist, your hand, then the desktop device is much better. Uh, it, the, the workspace is adapted exactly to the movement of the wrist. It's, about, it's a sphere about 12 centimeters in size. The, the forces are less also. Uh, maximum is 10 newton. So this is really what you can lift with your wrist without uh, using your, the muscles of your arm. So it, it's really focused on, uh, on the physiology of the user and the task. Uh, and that's how you decide which kind of device you will need in the end. The whole question is, how do you use this device with, with, with which software? Uh, this kind of device needs, uh, for example, a very high uh, refresh rate. When you compute uh, your simulation, uh, you, we, we're speaking here of real time, but real time in terms of milliseconds. So uh, you need a very high refresh rate uh, and you need to compute the physics, compute collisions between objects and how the objects are repulsed and, and uh, uh, you prevent them to interfere, uh, the interference uh, at a very high frequency. It's not obvious that every customer will be able to de develop that expertise and to implement it again. So of course, we had to come up with a solution and uh, today Haption has uh, um, building blocks, software modules that enable this kind of physics simulation with the right parameters, uh, a very small set of parameters uh, which work in a very stable fashion um, in a client-server architecture so that in integrating these modules inside the new applications is, is of course uh, not within a few hours, but it's not uh, a very uh, difficult task and it's, it's accessible to someone with no expertise in physics itself. A bit further, uh, beyond those software modules, we also support a number of applications natively with plugins. So that's the case of uh, the Dassault Systems uh, software suite, so Katia V5, Denia V5, SolidWorks, Virtuals. Uh, for those, uh, the customers can buy directly a plugin from Haption which enable them just to plug this device and work without any other programming, without any preparation of the software itself, but it just works. Uh, for other applications, a number of our partners are pr proposing su such plugins based on our technology modules, or if the application is not listed, then uh, the customer would have to uh, implement, but only the client side, so it's not a very high inv investment. Um, it's not redesigning a complete uh, physics simulation system. Yeah. How to contact us? This is uh, easy. You just uh, go to our website, haption.com, and you find all the details to contact us by email or, or phone. My personal email is also on the website, uh, and we are a small company, so it's easy to get in touch uh, with, with anybody without any difficult procedure. Thank you.